Do you ever feel that there's so many things you want to do and accomplish in life? You have goals and dreams that you want to achieve. It might be doing great work at your current job or studying and working to get your new dream job. It might be you working on a new business. Maybe you want to do more creative work consistently, be it your passion projects around writing, designing, coding, or it could be starting a YouTube channel as I am doing. But do you feel like you never have enough time in the day or the week to get everything done? Have you ever realized that maybe it is your distractions that steal away your focus, attention, time and energy and make you less effective in life? I've been going through all of these challenges myself as well. And I always feel like there's more I want to do, but constantly have the feeling that I don't have enough time in the day or the week to get those things done. Which is why in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about why you keep getting distracted and what to do about it. There's so much I personally want to do in my life. I code as a software engineer. On top of that, I have my personal hobbies like working out and training almost consistently five days a week, four days a week, doing these YouTube videos, working on some content, content, reading, thinking about my businesses that I want to start, learning around those things as well, finding time to do some self-education research and all of those things. But even though I want to accomplish so much, I don't want to slave away my entire day to do these things. For a personal goal of mine is to work at most six to seven hours every single day and still be able to accomplish more consistently. But I kept failing at it until I realized that my distractions are really the root cause of what makes me do less in more time rather than being more effective and efficient and getting more done in less time. So I had to figure out a way. How could I get back my focus from all the distractions that I waste my time on and instead use that focus to do the most I can in the time I allocate towards being productive, towards being creative, and towards, you know, the things that I really want to accomplish and do in my life on a regular basis. So I did a behavioral audit. You know, while reading this book called Indistractable by Neil Eyal, great book, by the way, great read. I highly recommend it to everyone who wants to do more, but constantly feels like they don't have enough time in the day or the week to do enough. A lot of like psychological insights. So let's talk a little bit about about our behavior itself. As humans, we are all driven by triggers and cues, whether internal or external in our environment, which makes us take actions, out of which some attractions, which are the actions basically that drive us towards achieving our goals and doing the activities a day in and day out that makes us move forward on the things that we really want to do and desire more in the long-term perspective of things. And some actions lead us to distractions, which are pure for let's say instant gratifications and pleasures like watching Netflix eating junk food scrolling away on Instagram and wasting time you know like on meaningless blogs things like that basically just browsing the internet so then the quest really became for me personally to get a better understanding of my own behavior and habits to kind of figure out where am I spending the most of my time and energy throughout the day and to figure out ways as to how I can maximize the amount of time that I have, the energy I have, by leveraging the focus and attention within the time that I allocate towards my creative pursuits, be it writing code, Monday through Friday, I guess, be it working on personal projects, be it researching or reading for these YouTube videos, creating these YouTube videos, editing away and all of those things. And also like working out, you know, and doing some meaningful things, spending time with my wife or talking to my parents and all those things. So to manage myself better, what I do now is I find ways to maximize triggers that create a conducive environment for me to be productive and more creative and be focused with a logged in energy to actually do the things that push me towards my goals. And while I'm doing that, I also try to make sure that I minimize the amount of triggers, whether it be it internal cues or external, to make sure that I'm not being distracted away by the bings and the dings of the phone or by the open browser, which has my Netflix on there, on Chrome, you know, YouTube and things like that. Because if I'm looking at that, it is an external cue for me to actually engage in that activity and do the things that I might enjoy more for instant gratification and just pure pleasure rather than focusing on the things that are going to give me long-term happiness and make me do things that I really deem worthy for myself you know like take actions on these YouTube videos write code and all of those things that I talked to you guys about earlier like working out and things that actually make me happy in the long term and make me feel accomplished and better about myself 
So now every day in the six hours of my time when I want to be productive working on software engineering projects or working on these YouTube videos on the weekends, I put that time, you know, blocks of time on my calendar, be it in chunks of two hours, three hours. I usually prefer doing three to four hours at a time uh, to be focused. And during that time, since that now I have a block of time to be productive, I know this is the time that I want to be putting away towards being productive. So I automatically am in the zone and I already have created that intention that I want to be doing these things. So that's already creating an internal environment of, of me being motivated to take actions on these things rather than being distracted away, scrolling away on my Instagram or things like that to make sure that my attention is 100% on the things that I want to do. So if I'm coding, I'm only going to have the apps open that create the context for me to be able to code, which is like, you know, like my IDE, which is the text editor, the environment that I code on, some database, my SQL and things like that, applications around that, my Slack. These applications help me to be productive when I'm trying to code. When I'm trying to edit YouTube videos, I might have my one Google tab open to do some research to look things up or the websites that I pull music from or Final Cut Pro, which is the software I use to edit these videos for you guys. So by doing this, it helps me create an environment of focus and having my attention logged in on the things that I really want to do. And these things alone make me far more productive within less time so that I can do more in less unit of time every day. So I just get the most out of like my six hours that I allocate now, which which I could really compare to like eight to 10 hours of every single day that I used to like work a year ago, two years ago, or even like back in Chicago when I used to be a software engineer and I would do little work, you know, on an ongoing basis, basically leveraging my entire days, thinking about these things and doing things here and there while being distracted on my phone or on my computer or on, or on my iPad. So what I want you to learn away from this video is basically Basically, that the next time you feel distracted, don't blame your distractions because distractions have always been there. A hundred years ago, if people were feeling distracted, they would rather read a book than do the actual work because as humans, we have always been wired to run away from our pain and towards pleasure. And sometimes even pain that we start to enjoy like working out, like I really enjoy working out. Sometimes I'll tend to do more of that because I have greater control on the outcome, which will make me tend to run away from some of the more hard to do things like you know coding for my projects and things like that because I'm not always sure of myself of the of the complexities that I'm working with or of the solutions that I'm trying to like implement I am not sure of that so I'm not in, entirely in control unless I sit down to actually work or even like recording this YouTube video sometimes I might hesitate sometimes I might be resistant to that because it, it is a little bit more uncomfortable compared to me working out which I have been doing for almost a decade now more than a decade so I already know what unfolds when I start to work out. So I just feel more comfortable in that environment. So I would rather choose to do that than this. So sometimes our own productive things can become our own like distractions, which is why setting intentions and knowing what you're supposed to do within a time, within a given period of time is so important. So the next time again, when you feel distracted, don't blame your distractions, rather question your own behavior, question your own habits, check your triggers, you know, check your internal and external cues. Are you hungry? Is that why you're getting distracted? Are you wanting to just check your phone so that you can avoid the work that you really have to do? When you make a note of these things, when you audit yourself, when you self reflect on these things, it gives you insights into your own behavior so that you can manage yourself better, which is why managing time is just a myth. At the end of the day, we can only manage ourselves and our behavior and habits and our triggers, which either drive us to take actions on the things that are important to us or the things that are for pure pleasure and instant gratification that actually drive us away from the real things that we really want to do or really want to accomplish and achieve in life which might be uncomfortable in the moment and our human behavior just makes us want to run away from those things and towards the pleasures of life. So make sure that you are you understand your behavior so that you can like be mindful of these things, have better control over yourself and be more productive in less time rather than trying to do more and take 
away from your entire day because as much as it's important to be productive it's also important to take care of yourself to invest time in your relationships to do things outside of work as well so create a block of time when you want to minimize your distractions and maximize your productivity while having the rest of the day to do fun things so that you don't burn out either so that was my two cents on what to do when you feel distracted when you feel unmotivated to do more productive things again reflect upon yourself upon your behavior and habits to be better and do better the next time around and then it just creates a feedback loop of you wanting to do better in less time and be more efficient and effective in your life if you found these tips helpful guys please make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more productivity tips and how to design a life that allows you to be more fun but also be able to do more because i'll be creating a lot more content around these things and if you don't want to miss out on them make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right have a good one bye